I, I didn't I don't like this I don't like this at all yo what is up guys I really hate how this camera will go black before so we always get these awkward ass intros was it awkward I didn't he, you didn't say anything either. Uh, you just sat there. I just I have I was hydrating. You mm -hmm. see, that's one thing they mm -hmm. tell you in the world. Always hydrate. So we are sorry that uh, we are not on schedule this week. We plan to get a real schedule. We gotta lock it down. It's just you know certain life things happen, and damn, you gotta adjust. So we're coming at you now with another recording of wrestling with my brother. I am always the nasty notch, aka. The French Tickler. We're not French. This is your boy BG. Follow us online. Me at BG is dope. He's not really there, but but I'm here. You're such a weird person. Also, we are on Facebook. Backslash wrestling with my brother. Uh Patreon, Wrestling With My Brother, SoundCloud, and iTunes, all the same, Wrestling With My Brother. So check us out on all social media platforms. And right now, we are going to get into SmackDown Live. We the hell is wrong with no, you I'm today? just posing, baby. I'm just posing, man. I just want to get the people what they want. More notch. All right. Oh, God. Let's get down to it. SmackDown Live starts off this week with... Uh, the second generation flair, Charlotte. Charlotte picks this time to come out and says, Oh, I've been on SmackDown for what? like Seven, seven days. days. And I'm getting angry. With that horse face that she got. Anyway. You were the one who was like, Charlotte's sexy. Her body. Her face is not anymore. I you just were just saying more. that the other day. You I, know what's funny? Mm. Me and Vicky were sitting there talking. Mm. And we were like, Charlotte looks a lot better. Facially, now that she's on SmackDown, I think the blue compliments her. But now, you know, all this time you're like, oh my god, Charlotte, Charlotte's sexy, Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. And now that Charlotte is on SmackDown and we think the blue compliments her face, <laughs> you were like, nah, Charlotte is ugly. Charlotte! She got a horse face. Do you see that? But, like, she got a sort of a horse face when she That's gets that. That's terrible. Like, when she gets that scowl, like, when she gets that mean face, that I did! Like, and then she sticks her face out like this. I like it. I think it's a good. So, she has a great body. Though. She's got. A, she's very good with her uh, facial reaction. I will say yes. That she's is very that good at she, that. She, she's she's good. so damn good. Anyway, I fucking love Charlotte. So Charlotte does her little, you know, line segment talking all that. Jazz, I can't wait for Oscar Charlotte and crap. Sorry. And then we got this new chick. No, Ooh. Naomi's not new. Naomi's okay. been there. Uh, Naomi is the SmackDown Live new Women's to Champion. Nodge. Which is everyone's new Na to you. Naomi, she uh okay, I'm sorry. Show her some damn respect. Orlando's own Naomi. Oh SmackDown Live Women's oh. Champion. Oh well with her intro, I should just probably you know get down, do a little twerk move right there. You, you know, know the camera can't see you. The right? camera didn't need to see me. People felt me do my little twerk move. I, they don't need to see that. But uh that that's You're right, much, they didn't need to see that. That's pretty much what she did. Her whole intro is downtown Orlando. <laughs> like I was kind of just like, damn, okay, that's a little bit much. We don't need to be twerking. Imagine live, seeing it days. live. It's so time consuming. Uh, it's what? It was dope the first time I saw it, but when she comes out for like promos and she starts popping and everything, I'm like, yo, come on, we don't we don't need all of it. It's dope, but it's it's like six months too long. <laughs> like we just need an abridged version. Yeah. Like just I come do the slide out thing and then just don't do all the dancing. All the I don't understand things. like how she does all that and then wrestles a match. That's so exhausting. Well That's gotta come into storyline, like either talk about how good her cardio is or like Naomi get really tired out by Oh Dope. I'm gonna book this right now. Mm. Next week, because they're going to fight for the title next week, it should be an Iron Woman match. Right? Yeah, like an Iron Man match. I don't remember the rules on Iron Man. Iron Man match, as many pins as you can get in 30 minutes. Or 60 oh, okay. minutes. I don't remember that. It should be like an Iron Woman match. But then Charlotte wins, basically because Naomi gets tired out early, because she did all that damn dancing to the ring. Ah. I think that would be so dope. Yeah, it's just smart. It's smart. Smart booking. 
That's, I need a separate show called Smart Booking with BG. TM! Don't. TM! Don't. TM! You see, you see, you use one thing and then you try to see, he's gonna try and steal. He's gonna try and steal my play, which I stole from someone else, but we're not gonna talk about it. Where you steal TM from? You don't have to know that. Well, now we're gonna have some legal issues. We don't have legal issues. That person will never see this in his life. Anyway, so, continuing down. Uh, they do their little banter back and forth, and then you got Shane O'Mac with Here his, comes the money! I love his little feet, his little foot thing. I love that. I've always loved that. Uh, and he just, you know, says straight up, you know what? All this bickering, all this nonsense, how about... Well, you forgot there was a little scuffle beforehand. Oh, and there Char- yeah, there's a scuffle, yeah, there was a scuffle beforehand. Scuffle. Charlotte gets thrown out the ring. Naomi's looking all powerful, strong, or whatnot. Setting the pace for the night, pretty much. And then Shane O'Mac comes out and is like, "Y'all are gonna face each other tonight, and if Charlotte wins, she'll now be the number one contender for the women's championship title at Payback." So, thinking that's it, we're gonna cut to the next segment. No. Uh. Charlotte runs back in the ring and is like, I'm not done with you. Roman Reigns is trash. And now you are too. And, just, and then they scuffle some more. There's feathers everywhere because of Charlotte's robe. Yeah, second generation flair. Her father did it better though. Of course. <laughs> and well, you know, after that, then it led into, I believe, it was, uh, was it the backstage uh, segment that, uh, that happened next there? Or... Uh, yeah, there was, um, was that the Ty Dillinger one? I believe it was. You, you have notes. What did you write there? Uh, this is before that. Uh, honestly, I, I didn't, uh, I'm going to be honest. We were at the gym and I, I watched this on my phone, so I didn't, I wasn't able to take notes. Oh, no, it was, uh. It was when Shane went backstage. Uh, he got uh, he got talked to by oh those, Natty, Natty, and then and like, Tamina Snuka and uh, James Ellsworth and Carmella. And I just kind of changed the channel. Listen, I, I'm I'm all for you know you you guys want to do the backstage stuff and talk and whatnot. But yo, know, when it was that annoying and boring, <sighs> I'm gonna change the channel. I'm gonna change the channel. You didn't change the channel though. I I did. You watched it on Hulu. I what. Well, I technically stopped it and then went and saw something else and then came back and then fast forward. So technically, yeah, I did change the channel. So that happened. They pretty much hinted at that you know they're gonna try something on uh, on Charlotte because they believe that they should have gotten a title shot because exactly. And Shane was like, "Y'all could have done this too." Charlotte wouldn't asked. Why didn't you guys yeah. just ask? She stepped up. So. Let's get to the better thing that happened after that, which was the six-man... The the six-pack challenge. There we go, the six-pack challenge. I think these things are so (laughs) stupid, because we've had... I know you're new, so you you don't know this, but they've had, I think, four or five six-pack challenges now, and they've done this since SmackDown Live started. It's like a... It's a new thing. It's like, oh, because back in the day, Teddy Long used to always put everybody in a tag match. Now it's like, oh, holla holla, we're going to have a six-pack challenge match. I don't get it, but we're <laughs> we're getting a shit ton of six-pack challenge matches. But this, I think, was by far the best one. Um, was not <laughs> expecting Jinder Mahal to win. Oh, God, yes. The... The, the the prison man killer the cornbread city. juice yeah I uh, the juice up tan the juice I is loose I honestly did not expect that myself but uh, I was smart when I so I watched this the morning after um, and I got an alert on my phone because I got home late so I, did, I didn't get to watch it live I got an alert on my phone saying Jinder Mahal wins six pack challenge for the number one contender I was like what how 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 does that make sense how, Sway? How? Because Dolph got his ass knocked How? out. <laughs> but you know what? After watching it, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. I think, one, it was a great match. It highlighted everyone very well. Um, there was a cool spot where there was uh, three superplexes when everyone did the yeah. superplex off the top rope. Yeah. Uh, for, for those who were watching on Hulu, it kind of cut out and then it cut back in and then you see them actually on the rope for freaking... 
uh, three people on the you know on the turnbuckles. That's how it was on the system. actual thing. No, I didn't watch sure. the Hulu version, but um, yeah, that was cool to see. Um, I mean, everybody got this their stuff, and it was cool. And then uh, to see Jinder, you know, getting this push. I mean, granted, he it seemed like he hurt Finn, but Finn is apparently fine because he had a match on Monday. So it was cool. Um, one part, a couple parts that I want to highlight there. It was, uh, first of all, Dolph Ziggler's trying to do the Shawn Michaels, you know, tuning up the band real quick. Oh, he's been doing that. He does not look as good as Shawn Michaels doing it. I'm just going to say that right now. It was a point where he hit it on uh, my man Sami Zayn, but then he did it to Luke Harper. and then <laughs> Luke Harper just took it, turned around, and just came back with his stop. Clothesline from hell, just not yeah. the hell out. That was actually hilarious because he didn't look as good as the heartbreak hit. Uh, who's the uh, what's what's the guy's name? He he came out with that Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan, that creepy ass dude. So he he was part of that little weird family clique. Thing. Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, Bray Wyatt. At one point, Braun Strowman was in there, but he was kind of just there. He didn't really fit. Hmm. So they took him out as soon as mm. they did the, uh, the Superstar Draft. But yeah, it was Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, and Bray. That was pretty much the Wyatt family. Luke Harper needs... J- I, I want to like him. We met him. We met him when we went to... a really to, nice uh, guy. He actually is a very nice guy. Shook his hand. He's got a big-ass palm. Uh... I want him to get an update to that that wardrobe, man. Just give me something. Nah, else. nah, nah. Give don't me change something it. else. Get don't that country it. back boy don't shit change it. out of there. Get change that. Shit. No, because there's there's no need. You know. Give me, give me something else, man. What's man. what's the point of changing something that it, it's too late to just sit there and give a complete overhaul? He can he can still. He can still change his jeans, man. Get, you know, go give, give me something else. To do. Just give me something else. Man. Nah, because... Give, give me some camo, you know? No, why, why do you want camo? Give, give me the camo. We're in Florida, bro. Give me the camo. Camo's whack as fuck. Give me the, give me the camo or something. I just, I, just, I, just, I just need him to update that. But no, honestly, what, how I, is I, camo like going to update it? I just want to update his look, man. Something on the bottom just needs to change. No, he, he's tying his hair back now. That's an update. That, that doesn't mean shit. I mean, it, 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 nah, I don't mean shit. Nah, he's cool. Don't mean nothing. Keep doing what you're doing, Luke. I like you. I like his moves. He was, uh, he he's was dope. on point. He was really He's cool dope. He's really underrated. He needs to be... I was hoping Luke would win this one. I did, too, because there were a couple points there where he got down for the pinfall. But you know, And he's another he person with the, uh, the facial... Because uh, his eyes, when he, like... I forgot what happened. We, he went for a pin, and he kicked out, and you just see his eyes just get so big. And for a big man of his size to do what he did when he first ran to the ropes and went through and came down and hit uh, Dolph Ziggler, then he came back, ran again, came back and hit Moho and uh, Mojo. Mojo. I keep saying Moho. I, the Moho pork. Oh, God. Talk about the Moho pork. Oh, delicious. Mojo and I want to say it was Sami Zayn on the side with him. Came through, flew, and just hit both of them. That, that, that's a big man that can move. Uh, surprisingly, when we met him in person, I always thought he was a lot bigger than he actually is. Or, like, uh, uh, bulkier. But he's actually a lot slimmer. He's, he's very... He's very lean. Lean, yeah. He's very lean for a big man. But uh, overall, it was, a, it was a great match to see. Uh, I was happy with Jinder winning, um, especially with the Bollywood boys sitting there helping him with the assist. So it looks like we're going to get like a little faction, a little three-man crew out of that, which is going to be it's going to do wonders for Jinder, but it's also going to do wonders for uh, the SmackDown Live because now we have no th- – well, the New Day is moving over, but we really don't have anybody, any heel factions like that right now. Um, the Wyatt family is disbanded. So there really is no three man faction. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be cool. I'm I'm excited to see where this goes. Uh, Gender cut a very good. Um, it was a heel promo, except for. It was very. It was truthful. Like he didn't say anything wrong. He, he was, was like, like you every '90s villain. Like <laughs> I mean, he was. I mean, he, I wouldn't say '90s villain. He, he is a villain to be honest. To be honest. Uh, Jinder is basically Muhammad Hassan. I know you don't know who that is, but Muhammad Hassan um, basically said the same stuff. I know if you know Muhammad Hassan, you're familiar with the same story. If you're not, look up Muhammad Hassan, come back to this, and you realize it's pretty much the same story. 
But he's just sitting there saying, like, you people don't want me as champion because I don't look like you. I don't look like your typical champion. But you know what? And he said it on Talking Smack afterwards also. He's like, after I win and I beat Randy Orton for the title, call me the new American dream. And he's he's right. Like... And then, yeah, Randy Orton came out. Well, yeah, that's we're not gonna talk about Randy yet. Oh God! Basically, what Jinder was saying, there's nothing wrong with it because it's kind of factual. <laughs> like, he doesn't fit what your typical champion would look like. Like, if you look at both of the champions, right? The both the main title champions. Actually, fuck it. Look at all four champions. Uh, Kevin Owens. You got Kevin Owens. You got um, the face of America, white face. Uh, <laughs> you've got Brock Lesnar. You've got uh, Randy Orton, and you've got Dean Ambrose. <laughs> like, oh, wow. There's really no diversity. I mean, if you want to like oh, pepper in the fact wow. that Kevin Owens is from Canada and he spoke, grew up speaking, uh, grew up spoken, speaking French, that's diverse, I guess. Yeah, wow. But other than that, I mean, Both the fact that he's French-Canadian, that's that's really it. There's there's literally no diversity. I, I, but I mean... I hate the faith of America. You do have uh, Naomi as your women's champion. Yeah! Who's, yeah. who's black. And you have Bailey, who's Hispanic. And half man. Oh, God. So, and then, well, then we have the Usos as the tag champs and uh, the Hardys as the Raw tag champs. So... I guess SmackDown is literally the land of diversity because that's the most diverse championship <laughs> roster. Everyone else on Raw. Well, I mean, you got Bailey too. But Jinder is not wrong in what he's saying. I mean, I didn't think it was necessary, but hey. What? Well, I mean, it was necessary. Of course, you're going to get heat. Like, yeah, it, it, well, you're going to get people I booing. Mean, you, you're stirring the lemonade. You're stirring yeah. the lemonade. You, you're getting the whole cloud, you know, crowd worked up so they can see you as the villain. Which everyone's gonna see you as anyway with that damn spray tan you got on. But you know, overall, I, don't, I don't think that's a spray tan. Nah, he's just he's, yeah, he's, he's, like, he's nah, darker. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> like he's just dark as shit. Anyway, uh, then you got Randy Orton coming out to uh, say his you know two cents of smack. And then- Boo, Randy, you're fucking boring as a oh, face. God, and I just was just can we can we stop because. All I know is... I don't know what the hell a House of Horrors match is. As soon as you see him, then here comes Bray Rabbit spitting his nonsense. And... His name is Bray. <laughs> Listen, if this match between Bray Rabbit and freaking Randy His Ray name Jordan, is Bray Wyatt. His name is Bray Wyatt. His name is Bray Wyatt. Is not the most spectacular House of Horrors match ever. I mean, I better see them go into like snakes and cockroaches and shit like that. If I see them just, you know... Hey, there's a ladder and I probably a chainsaw here. I'm gonna be a little disappointed. You I'm know what? A little disappointed. This House of Horrors match better have the fucking Vanguard one. That's the uh, the drone from the final deletion match. Ah, that's what it was called. Yeah, Vanguard yeah, one. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. We better have some Hardy esque. Yeah. Like it, it should be. I want, like, at the Wyatt Family Compound, like we had in that match against the New Day, we should have something like that. I don't care. Like, I feel bad for the people in attendance who will just have to look at the monitors for an entire match. But fuck you guys. I don't care. This match better be better than what it's already looking to be because it looks like it's going to be a shit show because we don't know what the fuck a House of Horrors match is. Randy doesn't know. And Bray 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 shit about it. doesn't know what the fuck is going and on. And it WWE. seems like Vince and the rest of the guys don't know what the fuck is going on in that match you either. You will see the horror. <laughs> Yo, again, stop, dude. You're not The Undertaker. You're just a creepy guy that sits in someone's closet. Stop. Stop playing the games. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hate to say it. Like, I love Bray. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for Bray Finn. Oh, also, this is not for the title anymore. They came out and said that this match is not going to be for the title. So, basically, I think Bray is going to win. The match is... its We were supposed to care about it. Now we don't give a shit because it's not for the title. Yeah. I and Bray is going to face Finn and hopefully Jinder takes the, t- the title away from Randy. Ooh, is Finn going to do the thing? That this, the, the, the demon? The I hope... Uh, I mean, not yet. Okay. That's going to be a while from now. Okay. Yeah, but... I think that's going to be... Uh, I'm excited for Finn Bray. 
And I'm excited for Randy to lose the title so he can go back to being a heel and doing what he does best is by being himself a dick. <laughs> Randy Orton is notorious for being a dick. Apparently he got better, but when I was at SmackDown, I saw him, like, some, some fan, like, so this, like, sweet-looking young girl reached out to, like, grab him while he's walking back, and he's like, get off me. Mm. It's like you're a face. Mm. You're, you're a good an guy. Why would you're you? Why would you rip dude. away? You're an asshole that looks like you wear too much cologne. <laughs> he also yelled at some kid. Some kid like took a picture of him while mm. he was uh, at the gym, and like flipped out on him. I mean, I, I understand that. Like, don't take a picture of me and like not ask. But like, you know, here's the thing. If I'm a celebrity. You gotta be used to that shit. That's you have to. You have to. Yeah. And it's just is, it's annoying. It's disrespectful. But like, the you're thing the is, guy. these are the people paying your bills. We're well, the people that are supporting you. Well, we, we are we are buying your fucking merchandise well, and watching SmackDown and Raw. Well, like, I've never bought any Randy Orton merch. So uh, and I've well, never. You're not gonna do it now because he's an asshole. But I, you go you go buy an Austin awesome three sixteen jersey real quick if you saw one on sale. It's not by Stone Cold himself. Well, I mean. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm like, saying. Those are the guys I like. If it, if it was like... If Randy was a better guy and he wore less cologne, stop being a dick. If I could be like, you know, if I have like a bunch... Like Shinsuke. If I saw Shinsuke at the grocery store, because I know he lives in Orlando... I'd be afraid of shit to approach I would be like, yo, I have a couple of your shirts and I've got like your hoodie. I support you a lot. Like, can I just get a picture? I'm not going to say all that, but Did if you he... you want the picture? That's that's wrong. Do you want a picture? That's wrong. So I don't I don't know how Shinsuke would sound saying that. Picture with me. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, that's exactly what he sounds like. I'm just saying. That's how I feel he would sound. Um, so, in between that, is this when we got the Shinsuke, uh... Yeah, we got a little moment. Shinsuke cat. We had a, a Thai moment, uh, where they asked Thai, um, you know, I don't know what the hell they were asking. What, do you remember what they were asking, Thai? Uh... They were like, why are you the perfect 10 or something like that? And he's like, oh, well, here's why. And he just cuts to, like, a highlight package, and it was... It was really nothing at all, actually. No. It was honestly, like, and I kind of liked it. I, I just, I didn't want to sit there and watch that. No, nah, there was no need. And then, with Shinsuke, they uh, did, like, a little highlight package. Like, oh, next, Shinsuke Nakamura. And they just did a highlight package. And I was like, all right. I'm gonna Is fast he going to come on? This. I thought he was going to come on. Yeah, he, didn't, he ended up not showing up. And then they did a cut to, I think, what I think what was AJ Styles. It was AJ Styles uh, being interviewed. They were like, uh... Oh, my God. Like these little these little segments, I just I forgot what they were asking him. They were they were asking him uh, some questions along the line of Hey AJ. Oh, facing Kevin Owens. There you go. And then Baron Corbin. Oh, I'm here now. And they're like, oh, Well, we, we were talk again. We were here interviewing AJ, and he's Somebody like, Somebody get Baron Corbin some freaking acting lessons or something. Get they were like, Why? He said, Why would you oh, want to interview oh him? God. It's like, Well, obviously, you should be me, Baron Corbin. It's like you. Ob- obviously, I'm Baron Corbin. Obviously, you didn't pin me. You pinned, you pinned Sami Zayn. That's pretty much it, in a nutshell. <laughs> and then it set the pace for the main event between AJ Styles and Baron Corbin. I don't understand that, but apparently they're they're uh they're very high on uh, Baron Corbin. Apparently, hmm. I mean, I think he's good in the ring. I like Baron Corbin. I, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. That's the I like Baron Corbin a lot. I just think he needs... Um, he needs to... I don't think it's... I don't think the issue's him. I think the issue's the writing. Because obviously what he's saying, it's like scripted, and it just feels very scripted. He, like, especially did, that segment right there. It just felt very scripted. It was very scripted, but I felt his delivery... There was no intensity behind his words. Well, like, because it, he, it was just, he was just literally just giving lines. Like, I, like, I don't know why. It just felt so hollow. But then, you gotta, but then you, you're an actor. You know this. You gotta give some more delivery. No, I know, yeah. You gotta put some more emotion into that. You gotta give what you get. And his lines in there, like, he could have... You know, give me some... You're a bigger guy than AJ Styles, you know? Give me some more intensity. Let's stand down. You know what hey! You know what should have done? Pop, pop. You know what he should have done? Pop. My house! Whoa! We're not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. No. Roman Reigns trash. We're 
but not now you are best. too. I love that line so much. I know you do. You, yeah. Uh, uh, I love you, Braun. Uh, uh. <laughs> anyway. We're going to rename the show The Man Crush of Braun. Oh, oh. Well, I'm not going to say anything bad about Braun. Just you better if not. If had ever seen this, then. You better if not. Braun, if Braun ever came Braun's house, watching. I will bitch up. Braun's so always I watching. Just, I will roll into a little ball in the fetal position. I really I hope one day we meet Braun Strowman. So we could have him on here. And, I would roll into And I could just sit there and be like, so, Braun, <laughs> when did you learn that you wanted to be a power lifter? Do tell me more. Braun! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, i uh, come to the next match, which was, I believe, you want to correct, it was between uh, American Ultra and The Shining. Alpha, 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 Alpha. American Ultra's a movie. I'm, it is a movie. You know, guys, I am still learning. So, again, we're not cutting this shit out. We're just going to keep going with The it. next match was actually between Naomi and Charlotte. Ah, very good match. I think that was the match of the night. Hands down. The match of the night? No. What was the match of the night? I still say it was a six-man pack. Oh, six-pack uh, challenge? Six-pack six challenge. That was very good. You know what? The first two match. matches were very damn good. I, I thought that was the match of the night. But uh, this match between the ladies, I didn't enjoy it uh, at the beginning, actually. But then I take the take back what I kind of said earlier. It was actually a little bit more joining, enjoyable, like, going towards the end. Like, they got a little bit more down and gritty. Like, Had a good uh, climax. Charlotte took off her, her knee pad, which I guess she does a lot. Mm-hmm. And uh, she just started kneeing a Fucking hell out of Naomi, and that was actually pretty funny. And then Naomi with those kicks, yeah. she was fierce with those kicks. But you know what? I feel like Charlotte was. Uh, I know this is the first time. I, I'm assuming this is the first time they're working together, unless they've done the house show circuit. But the way Charlotte was taking those kicks, I didn't like because normally most of the girls would like their arms will be back a little bit, or I don't know. Charlotte's arms were like in front of her like this, and she's just taking it on the arms, and I'm yeah. like. Yeah, come on! Like, like, it's not how you take. She was just like a like a like a weird donkey that couldn't move. Just uh, yeah, just like uh, put your yeah, just, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was a little bit weird. Yeah, just put your arms to the side <laughs> of your body and then to get the kicks there. I don't know, but because usually that move looks a lot cooler than that. Um, but I thought it was a good match. Um, they pretty much it was a good technical match. I I. I enjoyed it. There wasn't too many um, ridiculous high spots or anything. No. Um, but you could you could see the story that they're painting of, um, you know, Charlotte just kind of out wrestled her. You know, Charlotte because uh, Charlotte's pretty much the most dominant female. I mean, well, on the main roster, of course, there's Oscar, who I cannot wait for Oscar Charlotte whenever that happens. But. Mm, we're gonna have to go down more than That's names, NXT, but okay. Um, but uh, I will give you this match was a solid B match. It was actually pretty good to watch. It was uh, the ending part was pretty good to watch. It started off a little slow for me. Uh, it, it was still pretty cool at the end there. Oh, I'll concur for B with the B. Take that. Um, next. Oh, but wait, you gotta you gotta remember after she got out of the ring, she oh she went second. back. So we're thinking that there's gonna be this big. You know, maybe all four, la- three ladies, and that one weird dude would just jump, you know, beat the hell out of Charlotte when she got out of that ring. I'm thinking, you know, maybe they put her in a car, tie her up, and throw her down a ditch or something. No. All that happens is Charlotte fucking walks backstage and, huh, with a little. And what, what did she do after? Anger her horse what did face she do? With her what, did she, what did she do? When what? she walked on the hallway, she did something. She did the. She didn't do it as good as Rick, though. Just do it. Just do, do it. Because I, I can't do it. My voice is... There we go. Thank you. She did the signature Flair family trait. And, you know, I hope that's just handed down from generation to generation. But uh, that was such a big letdown. Because that first segment, you thought they were going to actually do something. Yeah, I was really hoping they beat her. It was just such a dumb-ass thing to do. Like, why would I was actually happen? really hoping they... Uh, they would storm the match or something. Yeah, that would have made sense. Like, like, you're all sitting there bitching that she gets a title shot. Well, why don't you just fucking prevent the title shot by... Beating the brakes off, though. But no, nobody did anything. So I was like, that that's bad writing. Like, that is horrible, horrible writing. If somebody from SmackDown sees this, you fucking up. Call Brandon. All right, he'll write better. I I 
Yeah, I've. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'd write better. I'm just saying I would write good. To say English joke, because it'd be I write well. Let's never tell that joke again in this house, okay? Now let's move on to the next match, which was between. The Shining... The, okay, so... Yeah, there were the Shining Stars. Because it's on his ass right there, and yeah. I have seen the photo. Oh. Uh, there were the Shining Stars, but now they're the Colognes. Um, Which are trying to branch onto a family name. No, that's literally their... Yeah, that's their last That's name. their family. That's their family name, yeah. They're just putting the family name more out well, there. Well, they were... Ori- okay, so they originally... They had those ties. Then they put them through a shit ton of gimmicks. Uh, they were the Los Matadores at one point. Which were some bullfighters. Oh my god. Um, and they're not even from Spain. They're from Puerto Rico, which Why makes no sense. Okay. Um, I mean, they don't have. It's either you do this or you don't have a job anymore. So, oh. pretty sure you should go along and do yeah. it. Um, Sucking that corporate penis. Huh? And then they went to the Shining Stars where they were like, come to Puerto Rico. And they were giving out pamphlets and shit, and that shit went nowhere. But I'm glad they finally just like, fuck it, just be the colognes, embrace who your family is. Hopefully, fucking Carlito comes back, and we get, you know, a true family reunion. Carlito bites some apples, spit in some people's faces. We get a good faction. Ugh, it'd be wonderful. But uh, they beat American Alpha. American Alpha is the great, you know, wrestling tag team. Uh, you know, the technical boys, but... It looks like American Alpha's on a streak of just getting beat <laughs> by, uh, <laughs> like. but no, but beat by heel tag teams that are like very good at like, you know, cutting off the ring, using heel tactics, uh, getting heat and everything. So I'm cool with it. I'm cool with uh, American Alpha's little slight drag. I'm hoping because Shelton Benjamin is cleared. I'm just doing a lot of fantasy book and hopefully, you know, Shelton Benjamin comes back or some shit happens or American Alpha ends up on Raw. Kurt Angle, new team Angle. Just saying, we're all looking for it because that would be amazing. Yeah, overall, I give that match about like a C. It was really boring to watch. It yeah, was, it was nothing it special. It was like nonsense. It was just like, okay, a little high, little one half fly move and that was it. So I there, there's really not much to say about that. Uh, Boo. So next we had Kevin Owens' um, Face of America oh, challenge, God. which is reminiscent of uh, John Cena's uh, U.S. Open challenge that he was doing when he held the U.S. title. This was fun. Uh, it was just a squash match. I was expecting there to be somebody come out and he'd do like John Cena did, but nope, it was just some local enhancement talent from Louisville, Kentucky. The crowd didn't give a fuck about him until he said he's from Louisville. They all popped. And then he got his ass beat. In 13.4 seconds, he got the living shit beat out of him. I mean, Kevin Owens put him in the middle, put him in the turnbuckle, and just stomped his ass out like he had stole his drugs. I love was bad. I loved how uh, Kevin Owens was like, "Shut up! You do bad at the announcing. I do this better than you." And just took the mic and introduced himself and introduced. Um, I for, what was the guy's name? Do you remember? No, it was that forgettable. I literally just it just <laughs> it just went in and out. Gary Gandy. Get. Gary Gandy. That's a name I'll have a fucking franchise about. I mean, Gary Grandy. Gandy. Gandy. Is it Grandy? Gandy. Gandy. Smandy. Gary Gandy. GG. Yes. Double G. I'm double G. See right there. I even thought his whole gimmick up. Gary, if you ever see this, man. That's not his gimmick. That's Jeff Jarrett's gimmick. Oh, that is. That <laughs> you is even true. said it like Jeff Jarrett. That is true. Double J. Double J. Double, you can't do that. You can do that. Double G. It's the difference. Pat and Penny. No. Cause even, Tia! even Austin Aries is a double, just so it doesn't have to be double A. So that led into Owens sitting in on commentary for the uh, the AJ event. Corbin match, which was the main event. Um, Baron Corbin's entrance. What the f- like that needs some work. That I was, like it. I did not. That was some shitty. Like I didn't. I didn't like anything about that. I like his entrance. I hate it. I want him to have a motorcycle. I actually yelled that at him because we were pretty close at SmackDown. So I was like, hey, Baron, when are you getting a motorcycle? Did he say anything back to that? He, he stared at me. He stared at me. Mul- this was on his way back. He stared at me multiple times. Was it you or was it your No, it was literally at me. Was it you or was it your girlfriend? No, Vicky was sitting down. You can still see her. He's like taller. Well, you know. 
He was staring. He's staring at you, you girl. I was sitting there talking shit to him. I know he was staring at me. Sure, he was. I also, I also yelled at him. Hey, Baron, good job on losing the weight (laughs) while he was in his match. Don't you do that? Because he lost weight, and I just wanted to say good job. That's what you yell out at somebody. Yeah. Okay. I also told Alexa Bliss she had a wedgie. Because she did. I wish I had seen it. It was. She's got a. Hi. So, the match, uh, I mean, it was a good match, you know? Oh, no, absolutely, absolutely, I loved it, actually. Um, AJ's entrance, I've actually never really seen it. What? I don't think I've actually, yeah, I don't think I've actually ever seen it until just now. It's phenomenal. And it is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. All puns intended. He just actually needs the song, I Am Phenomenal, from the, no. from South Park. Come on, how hard would that be? I Am Phenomenal. But he has a great, what, whatever Yeah, his song is, whatever I his like song what is, he has now. I think if he added, I Am Phenomenal, come on. like I It's am already phenomenal. on the screen. It's already on the screen. I think that would, it, like, no. AJ, you see this? Get that song from Don't. South Park, Phenomenal. Don't. And trust me, wait. It'll enhance. You. No, it won't. There's literally no reason for them to, for them to pay for the rights to that song. They got money out the wazoo. They can do whatever they want. But there's no need for it. There's literally no need for it. He has a great track already. Why are you doing that? Anyway, That's so weird. <laughs> so AJ actually he surprised me because uh, you know my brother keeps telling me, hey. He's uh, he's so athletic. He's one of the you know the best wrestlers in the world because I watched him because he was Japan. <laughs> That's not how I sound. That's exactly. How and you I sound. I started watching him in TNA. That's, thank you very much. That's exactly how you sound. I started okay. watching him in TNA. His little low kicks that he was giving to to Baron chopping him down. That was actually yo. Those were actually on pinpoint accuracy. Like those, those were beautiful kicks. Those they, and you could hear that that low that low. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, couple of highlights for me. When uh, Baron took him by the throat, did a choke slam onto his, his knee. freaking knee. Ow! Yeah. Ow! Damn, that gotta hurt though. <laughs> like you have to really trust somebody to do some shit like that because that could be a draw situation, or you can, you could walk off shining. <laughs> that could go either way. And if you don't know who draws is, go ahead and look up what he with D'Lo Brown. That's did that's that, uh, that cannot be a draw situation. I mean, he could be paralyzed. No, come on. He could be paralyzed. Let's let's be logical draws about is, this. Draws is paralyzed from what the neck down. Okay, one, you can't keep sitting there giving a draw situation. It's terrible. It's bad. It you, you is can't, not you, terrible. It is. I am warning people. It is public safety. I am doing a service. You can't. Keep doing that. I can't. This is like the second time you've mentioned the draw I, this situation. This is not. This let it go. Is probably the second time. I will not let it go because they need to understand. They need to be. Safe. Okay. Second all. Second. Second all. Second of all. Shut up. <laughs> I don't have any empty cups. I can hit you with. Second of all. Logistically. Logistically, <laughs> all right. If the the picking up and, and bringing down on the knee, mm-hmm. AJ can s- stop on his his feet first and just flat back, and it's all right. Like it's not like he's coming and just curling his like legs up. And Still, shit. if if uh, if we can get somebody bigger than you that can pick you up and put you right over the knee, I don't think. Well, I can pick you up and do it. We're not gonna try that. I don't. I don't trust you with my life like that. Well, you. All you have to do is jump. No, no, no. no. It's 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 morally so dependent on on the guy receiving than it is on the guy doing. We're gonna have to go back and watch that. We're gonna have to go back and watch that. But honestly, that was a great move. Look, they just. I just wanted to be safe. I. I just think it has more to do with AJ's control Mm -hmm. of his body than it does to do with Baron's delivery. We will go back. You know what? I'm gonna make it up. That's such gimmick infringement. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm doing it. Um, <laughs> uh, another great part is uh, this is a wrestling show. I can use what I want from wrestling. Another great part uh, that I really, 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 really enjoyed was uh, when they were on the side, they were outside by the announcement table, and uh, Baron Corbin picked up AJ Styles and threw him and finally shut the fuck up, Kevin Owens. He threw him right in the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was fucking hilarious. I, because the whole time Kevin Owens is talking, I'm just like, oh my gosh, please cut off the commentary. Cut off the commentary. Cut off the commentary. Cut off the commentary. He's, a, he's, a, he's good at being annoying. I'm the face of America. And he's a, he's an annoying little dude. Yeah, yeah. You don't know anything. I'm not a rookie. What was funny? The face of America. What was funny was when him and JBL were speaking French. 
And like JB, it was clear that like JB only knew like two words. We we said we we. And then Kevin was like, "Okay, yeah, it was, clearly you don't know anymore." But all right, it was funny how they were being bullies too. Or Kevin was being a bully to uh, Byron, but JBL wanted no parts of that. It was, uh, I was, I was, was trying funny. to tune them out and pay attention to the match. AJ was doing his little, you know, his usual high flies. Another little highlight that I was like, damn, is when he got, when uh, Baron picked him up and actually, like, dropped him on the side of the ring. <laughs> you just hear that impact? I was like, damn. Like, it looked like his hands didn't even stop him, but I, I'm guessing he, he sold it very well. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I, I mean, he might have just taken it fully. It's yeah, possible. It, it, cause, damn, that looked like he took the whole thing fully. Uh, and Bear, for a big guy, he could move. For a big man his size, he was actually doing some great moves. Told you, I like him. He slid out of the ring, came back, ran around, slid right back in. It's like ease. Like I'm sold on Baron. He, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna look out for Baron. I'm gonna try and you know watch some more of his matches. But big man could move. Other than that, you know, uh, AJ Styles walks away with the win after doing what is what does he call that? He just, it's like... He, Which one? It's like... It's like oh, the forearm. forearm the phenomenal Superman. forearm. The phenomenal forearm. Okay. That's a lot. But the phenomenal forearm gets him over. He hits uh, Baron Corbin in the face. Baron goes over the partition, and he's just in the crowd. And then he just didn't get back up into the ring in time. So, count, count out, yeah. Count out, and that was it. AJ... Ten. Walks away with it. So, I give that match at... at hey, that was a great match. I enjoyed it, yeah. Fun to watch. It's fun I to watch. It. But, uh, and, you know, that was it. That was the whole entire night. SmackDown was, you know, pretty decent. There were some great matches. Uh, again, the the clones and... Um, uh, what? American Alpha. They just need to go away, in my opinion. But, hey. They are good where they are. They need to stay exactly <laughs> there. Give us some more good tag team matches. Because that's what we need. Um, and give the fucking Usos some time on screen. They have the championship. They have the titles. Why aren't they... Why Was the Usos on television this week? Did no, you see them? They were not. What the fuck? Mm. They win the titles, and they Ooh. haven't been back on television uh-huh. since. You don't want to feature the brothers. They got... I mean... Uh. They, they, they literally had the rematch last week. American Alpha has been on television more than the Usos have yeah. since they won the fucking titles. You want to do with the little, little hair, do the little locks like that, but you don't want... Well, actually, Usos got kind of... Dreads, so it doesn't. No, it don't. It's, was it dreads? What? What is it? Is it, have is it hair. just hair? Okay, so I I was a little mistaken and I forgot. My bad. You knocked over Stone Cold. What are you doing? Black bastard. This has been another great episode of Wrestling with My Brother. Again, I am the Nasty Nodge, aka the French Tickler. And this is B.G. Wooten. He's going to give you all the info where you can find B.G. Usually in his house, in this room. Why the hell did you say the French tickler with a country accent? This was still a mistake. You stay classy. Oh, I know you didn't just say that. Wherever I know the hell you are. That. I know you didn't just say that. You stole my shirt. You son of Bridget! Hey guys, once again, thank you for watching Wrestle with my brother. This is all inspired by my brother over here. His idea. Um, we're gonna do it. We're gonna keep doing it and have some fun doing it. So if you're not having fun doing it, why hell do it? So don't forget, give us some likes, some dislikes. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Uh, we we enjoy you. We enjoy doing this. So you know, support us as we go along our journey. What you forgot to mention though is uh, hit that subscribe button right down below. I'm gonna I'm put you know the thing right there like I like I try to do. Hit the subscribe button. We're uh. We're happy that we're doing this. I'm happy we're doing this. He's probably not as happy. <laughs> but I'm glad we're doing this. So hopefully you're glad too. Hopefully you enjoy what we do. And yeah, check us out. <laughs>